Yo, I'm just gonna say it right now. Porto Manga chapter 43 are the baddest things since sliced bread. Honestly, people. If, if you not read the chapter yet, then you can pre it. <laughs> Honestly. Yo, not only did this chapter manage to bring an end to the fight from again, well, between Team 7 and Boro, but it actually managed to progress the plot in a direction that everyone actually is dying to see at the moment. Welcome back, everyone. Sanji Uchiha here. And honestly, yo, I can't wait to talk about this chapter. So just cue the intro. everyone Sanjay Chia here so Boruto Manga chapter 43 as I said you are the buddiest things in sliced bread honestly so chapter title manifestation and honestly as I usually do on these reviews first impressions the chapter <sighs> like <laughs> like yo from yesterday because today is it's still the 20 like, I'm literally just not too long reach room from work like just come in just start up set up everything I'm gonna just start record and literally from yesterday like people have been reaching out to me to say like yo the chapter sick based on the spoilers that they saw and i saw some images i didn't check out the spoilers um necessarily but yo everybody was like hyping up the chapter based on what i was hearing and trust me yo the chapter did live up to the hype um of course if you haven't read the chapter or spoilers ahead be sure to rate comment and subscribe and let me know what you thought about this review once i'm through leave a comment and start a discussion but boruto manga chapter 43 yo mm, let's dive in so we start off the chapter with a completely irrelevant cover page of sarada <laughs> so there's that for some reason i don't know but anyway get into the meat of the matter we continue where we left off last chapter where sarada actually managed to pull off the shidori on boro of course we you know expect to get some exposition on what the shidori is to character that i don't actually know in this case kawaki and of course mitsuki explains it and the reasoning behind actually using the jutsu in this context in this particular um, particular scenario now serato quickly crushes the scientific ninja um weapon the core of it and this apparently causes boro's body it, it, the remainder of the weapon that's in his body to go out of control and basically he starts growing into this ridiculous giant blob with tentacles now when i first saw it i kind of found it interesting um since there is there does seem to be some kind of scientific reason behind our notion behind the scientific ninja weapon sense the name i guess uh, my theory or assessment of the situation since boros scientific ninja weapon well one of its abilities kind of heavily focuses on regeneration and i imagine like the replication of cells i imagine his weapon going out of control kind of causes his cells to kind of replicate to a, like a high degree causing his ridiculous enormous growth so i guess you could think of boro having like a naruto version of cancer <laughs> in this particular situation i know it's weird i know but it is what it is but anyway they decide to leave him and go to the 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 ceiling jar and naruto is sealed in and honestly um i wasn't expecting to actually get back naruto just yet honestly and this was a breath of fresh air because this actually progresses the plot far faster than i imagined it would at least we have naruto back in the picture and it kind of gives rise to having um, potentially seeing how things can potentially go forward after they eventually get back to Konoha hopefully well more than likely by the next chapter they'll get back to Konoha so yeah but anyway so we get Naruto back after Kawaki basically comes up with the idea that yo we use space-time ninjutsu via karma to get here so why not use it again to kind of connect the space within the jar and you know their current space since they can't physically open the jar and smashing it is still out of the <laughs> out of out of the equation here because they don't want to actually hurt naruto so we get naruto back into the picture and just then boro comes back into the picture and just basically squishes smashes mitsuki smashes um serato and basically starts smashing kawaki and boruto and this is like after this part after this section we have boruto 
<laughs> Yo, look at that guy. He transforms into his level two karma state, as I'm calling it until you know further notice. Um, and of course, this is the basical, basically the realization of the chapter title, manifestation. We essentially get the return of Momoshiki. Ah, wow, Momoshiki Otsutsuki. We have Boro turning and realizing that Boruto is behind him at one point, and it's like in his garbled speech he mentions Otsutsuki, so he actually recognizes this transformation and realizes that Boro, well, Boruto is no longer in control. Now, what I love about the fact that Boruto assumed this level two karma state, but the fact that Momoshiki is in control, um, we we saw one. Well, we saw two other level two karma states. One with Jigen in the fight between Naruto and Sasuke, well, between him and Naruto and Sasuke, and we saw Kawaki assume his level two karma state before, but he was still in control. So this is the first instance of level two karma that the person that actually left the mark on the, the the wielder actually takes control. So that was interesting because that actually confirms a lot of our theories and speculations regarding the how karma actually works in that it's seemingly like a similar to like a Jin Churki situation where the Otsutsuki member actually implants himself via the karma mark into the, the, the host essentially and it was clear to see from Momoshiki it is obviously him from the point that he opened his mouth and said inferior creature like just calm yourself right now just relax isn't me I could tell it was him, so yo, nah, like this, this, this kind of changes the game drastically. Um, so yeah, so we get some more fight sequences between Momoshiki. Well, Momoshiki control, well, Boruto control, you know, Momoshiki in Boruto's body by the karma still controlling him. He basically like takes Bor Boro out without that, <laughs> with no problem. Basically, just kicking out his arm, kicking him away. Of course, he realizes that Boruto's body is out of chakra, so he realizes that Naruto is there, and it's like, oh, okay. Then he just absorbs some of Naruto's chakra and just finishes off Boro with that. Yo, but not like the scene where we have <laughs> Momoshiki basically trying to remember the the Rasengan. It's like, what was that name of that jutsu again? Oh, Rasengan. Then the, <laughs> the next part is like instantly just vaporizes Boro. That was wild. But during it all, we see that Sarada and Mitsuki realize that something's off about Boruto. And we get um, basically a repeat of what Momoshiki said towards the end of his arc when he was defeated that um, to Boruto that his blue eyes would take away everything from him. We have Momoshiki basically saying that, yo, it, it, it's not time for you to lose everything yet, basically. And then the transformation wears off, Boruto returns to normal and they realize that he doesn't remember anything after Kawaki actually gets back up. So after that, we transition to the car of Vyas where Kashin Koji has just arrived. Apparently it's seemingly in this desert area. So that's interesting. I wonder if they change locations like Orochimaru every now and then. But what makes it interesting, all the more interesting is the fact that, yo, is like Kashin Koji at some model like, where basically where is he and i was like yo he, he's still recharging he's not even at 10 percent yet and he's like i'm gonna take him out and amado's like are you gonna do it so apparently amado was in on the fact that caution koji isn't a fool doesn't have full allegiance to kara so yo Munaga, like, that changes the game a lot it kind of makes you question the inner workings of Kara and how they actually came to be and the fact that Kashin Koji is finally going to step up I kind of got a lot of my expectations in this chapter for the most part the fact we got Kashin Koji not to the degree that I wanted him but the fact that we got him and the fact that the fight with Boro is over and the plot is progressing all while still building the suspense the mystery and the hype yo Minaga like Chapter 43 delivers in almost every aspect. <laughs> Yo. Mm, and we have Naruto back. Key, key, key part of it. Key part of it. We have Naruto back. Now, Kashin Kuoji people. Yo, them setting things up for him to go up against Jigen, who is not even at 10%. Um, that's good because we know Jigen is ridiculously powerful. And that was the whole idea of Kashin Kuoji returning. The fact that Jigen would be able to use his full power. So, yo. We're gonna, I'm expecting to get a lot of caution, well, 
if not a lot kind of bounce things off between you know team seven and them return to Konoha and Kosh and Koji confronting um Jigen and hopefully we can get some more into his backstory because I know they keep teasing us with yo could he possibly be dry I don't know yo especially since the wolf theme and everything of Kara is you know cy cybernetics and everything so you never know at this point them reviving Jiraiya or rescuing Jiraiya in some shape or form um it's it's totally possible you never know I mean Ishiki Otsutsuki himself could have went to the bottom of the ocean and got him probably wouldn't be a problem for a god tier character like him so Yo, it is what it is. So, yo, the chapter ends with a split panel between Kashi and Koji and Amado. It was like, yo, it's time to start to take out Jigen. So, yo, that's where the chapter ends. And I must say, of all in all, well, obviously, you must know by now. I love the chapter. It was great, honestly speaking. Apart from the irrelevant cover, <laughs> cover pictures for I like, we don't know. You think they put a picture of like Kashi and Koji and um, Boruto on the cover again, but it would just seem off putting Sarada on the front page for some reason. Me, 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 not, me not know. But yeah, the fact that one, piercing wise, the chapter was great. I think the fact that it progresses the story to this extent is good because I know, even though personally I've been enjoying the Boro fight, and I said this in my expectations video as well, that even though I've been enjoying the Boro fight, it needed to end because it basically already fulfilled its objective of establishing the new generation and the fact that they can actually go up against the members of Kara and basically kind of establish what we can expect from the members of Kara and how the new generation can possibly, you know, combat them. Uh, and I think it also, this whole fight against Boro kind of slapped away some notions that feel people had and that kind of contributed to their you know you know like their problems with the fight going on this long is that yo you have to realize that the difference between Ka well Jigen and everybody else in Kara is astronomical like it's 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 like almost night and day at this point and that the heavy reliance on scientific ninja tools actually gives characters like Boruto and his generation who are no slouch they're easily tuning level and above well especially Boruto's group especially if you see my power skill videos it kind of gives them uh, opportunity to combat the scientific ninja weapons which are being heavily used by these Kara members so yeah so yeah the fact that the fight against Boro is done we've got Naruto back we're transitioning into Kashi and Koji going up against Jigen and possibly learning more about Kara through that conflict we're setting for setting things up for all of that chapter 43 really excels and the fact that it progresses the plot all while building the suspense and mystery and the hype with what's going on with Boruto especially I think that's a strong point for this chapter as well the fact that we have Boruto actually getting such a major push into the spotlight because for the most part we've had a heavy focus on Kawaki for a lot of the past like say 10 chapters or so and the fight against Boro kind of really highlighted um, Sarada and Mitsuki and uh, Sarada and Mitsuki and how capable they are and I think Boruto as a character was kind of slouching um, behind in terms of being given the spotlight but the fact that they finally introduce back some I guess repercussions or some consequences for the fight against Momoshiki then which also confirms a lot of our expectations and theories about you know you know especially it was even said by Jigen that they'd become Otsutsuki so to get some visual confirmation of the <laughs> the the problems or the relationship that's to come where Boruto's character and him sharing his body with Momoshiki and the whole karma seal is concerned yo it does wonders for the main character who I feel hasn't been getting enough push in the series so yeah all in all even though Fossey 3 kind of felt like it's fed by fast with the fighting and everything it really sets up a lot and pushes the story in the right direction I yo I mean, no, no. as I said body sticks and slice bread and I love it honestly yo shadow mm. Mm, 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 mm. so right now whoa channel about chat so long, yo mm. People, trust me, Boruto, Boruto manga, yo, the manga is just hot, brother, hot, 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 right now, I'm just wish the, <laughs> wish 
the animated just become seasonal so we can just maintain the quality upon the level and so when it comes time to get all of this crazy stuff that you know the quality just top notch honestly <sighs> yes 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 so i think with that said um i think i'll end the review for now and save anything else i have to say for any follow-up discussions for the the next four weeks well during the period of the next words like i usually do so yeah send you to your rate comment subscribe hope you enjoyed my you know you know review or look back or analysis of the chapter um in terms of rating hmm, yeah honestly wait before i end i did have one problem with the the chapter which i think i'm gonna make it be like a nine out of ten it's kind of I don't know if it's petty to kind of put it like this but in some panels it kind of felt like um ikemoto the illustrator it felt like he could have used more panels to illustrate certain movements i don't know if i'm the only one that feels that way but in some instances i felt like he could have drawn used more panels like use them up more that, that was my only gripe with the chapter if i'm being honest but that aside easily a 9 out of 10 chapter so rate comment subscribe journey to a thousand subs i appreciate the support and yo just let's start a discussion in the comment section and you know chat it out as usual see you guys in the next one mm -hmm.